Ok, você vai beber. Ele tenta tocar ouro. Perfect, man. Oh, what's gold? Mala? Mala. Mala, mala, mala. Shit, shit. I knew I should have went with ouro. Minha mala é amarela. What? Minha mala é amarela. Minha mala? Mala. Ah. É, amarela. Ah, what is mala? Suque. Oh my god. A gente precisa ver o que vai acontecer. So hot today in London. Oi, pessoas, tudo bem? Eu estou de volta em Londres. Já estou com saudade do Brasil. Eu vou voltar em breve. So I'm back in London. Um, it's really hot today, and this bedroom is super hot. Um, but new location. Nice little plant. Not a guitar anymore, the days of the guitar are gone. Um, bottles of cachaça in stock now. Got some new bottles of cachaça. And today, I'm drinking cider. Um, I've not had cider in a long time because in Brazil, cider, it was non-existent. Um, and cider is really popular in England, especially Bristol where I'm from, it's like where cider is, a lot of cider is made. Um, so I've been missing cider. Cheers guys. However, I do miss Brazil. Um, if you've been following my Instagram, then you probably already know that I miss Brazil, Brazil because I've been posting a lot about it. Um, on that note, if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow me. Um, I'm posting lots of content about my language learning and lots of things about Brazil. Uh, my Instagram is Jake. It should be in the description below. So you can see, see the, uh, the name for my Instagram in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. The button is somewhere down there as well. So just press the subscribe button and subscribe to my videos. So every time I upload a video, it should come up straight in your YouTube feed and you can watch it and you won't miss a thing. <sighs> Super hot. So traveling in the current pandemic situation was very strange. Caught a flight from Brasilia to Rio. Um, two days before my flight to London from Rio. So I spent the last two days of my time in Brazil in Rio de Janeiro. Um, and of course it was beautiful. Um, it was actually where I started my journey in Brazil. And it was good to be back there but also very strange because uh, the beaches were completely empty. Um, I'm going to post up a picture as you can see here. Uh, this is the beach of Ipanema and there's a beach, uh, a picture of Copacabana and they are completely empty. It was really weird seeing the, the beaches so empty. A little bit depressing to be honest. Um, as much as I love Rio and it's beautiful, the vibe was very subdued. Um, so it was very strange to sort of start my journey in Rio when everything was normal and end my journey in Brazil in Rio. Um, when everything was changed, everything was different. Social distancing on aeroplanes is non-existent, so be aware guys if you are planning on travelling and you are conscious of being social, socially distant, um, it's not going to happen on an aeroplane. You, you, you literally sit amongst everyone. Um, so today, Duolingo. I'm going to practice um, Portuguese with Duolingo. Eu vou praticar com Duolingo. Duolingo, I actually started in February um, when I came to Brazil. It was one of the first first apps I downloaded to learn uh, Portuguese. And I brought the subscription because I just wanted to like be on it all the time. And I kind of needed like to pay in order to do that because otherwise you lose like these little hearts as you can see in the corner. And once you lose those, you have to buy more. If you run out of coins, then you cannot practice anymore. So they kind of got you, you know, they, 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 they know where it hurts. And I, being a sucker, paid for Duolingo. Um, as you can see, I've completed quite a few. Um, and I got all the way up to here when 
I haven't really used it so much um, because I've just been busy like learning Portuguese in, in other ways. But today I'm back with Duolingo and we're going to go through some some of the lessons that they give you. Let's start them. Let's start with future phrases. They will pay. Elas vão pagar. Yes. These ones always find easy because it's kind of obvious. It's a pássaro. Butterfly is borboleta. Deixe is ten. Um, quen is who. And vão is will. What are we going to eat is... Um, what is that? Gente is we, isn't it? So it has to be... No, that's a question. Oh, okay. Okay, nos vamos comer. Yes. Novi. Novi. Nine. It's close. Novo. It's new. Fala, talk, oi, hi, vamos, will. Okay, we'll see bye, baby. Okay, we'll see bye, baby. Uh, what are you... What are you going to drink? Yeah, what are you going to drink? Um, what are we going to eat? Okay. Nos vamos, nos vamos. Come here. Yes. Tu vais come here. You will eat. What is going to happen? Um, okay, vai. Vai. Say, uh, acontecer. Yes. I've never actually heard that word, acontecer, before, so. Duolingo is actually really good for learning, um, individual words in another language. I find it like difficult using Duolingo to actually learn how to speak because some of the sentences and phrases are ridiculous like uh, the elephant sat on the mouse or something stupid like that and a lot of these phrases like the cat likes the dog is you don't you don't use these in, in everyday life so it shows you like some sentence structures and it teaches you a lot of new words but in terms of like using Duolingo and then going out to talk in that language it's not really it's not really good for that, but it's, it is a really good tool to learn new words. And I've learned like a lot of words, such as animals, um, a lot of words for food, um, restaurants, drinking, um, these kind of things, basics. And I learned a lot of them from Duolingo. So it is a useful tool to have. Two vies, come here. Two vies, come here. You will eat. I will pay for the grape. See, I will pay for the grape. Who says that? Singular as well, like not even I will pay for the grapes. Anyway, il vo paga uva. Pella uva, for la. Amanya il vo come pesh. Tomorrow I will eat fish. Seriously, contemplating just not continuing this video because it's so hot up here. My husband will eat with his father today. Okay. Uh, meal. Meal, meal. What's husband? What's husband? Okay, so Pai's father. Ah, uh, marido. Marido. Uh, bye. My husband will uh, come here. Come. His. See, this is the confusing part. I always I get confused about. It. It's like Delhi and where to put it. Like uh, my husband. So so far, I have my husband will eat with. So I know that. And if I put Delhi, his uh, pie, a man. And it's firstly. Meu marido vai comer com o pai, and I put com dele pai amanhã, and obviously it's hoje, which is today, not tomorrow, and I put tomorrow. Okay, vai acontecer. Da -ding. What are you going to drink? Okay. Você vai beber. 
A gente precisa ver o que vai acontecer. A gente precisa ver o que vai acontecer. Tomorrow I'm going to eat fish. Amanhã. Amanhã. Eu, Eu vou. Vou. I'm going. Tomorrow I'm going. Comer, comer fish. Peixe. Ela vão pagar. Ding. I will pay for the grape. Eu, Eu vou. vou. I remember this one now, see? This way I can help you. Eu vou. Pagar pela uva. My husband will eat with his father today. Okay, so this one I got wrong as well. So, meu marido vai comer o... No, com with pai dele hoje. Yes, got that one right. So, yeah, I always get confused with, like, Delhi. I know it means they have Dela and Delhi, but sometimes it gets confusing knowing where that, that word goes in sentences. Um, I actually have no idea how, how that works, but I just kind of guess, <laughs> as, you know, as you know. Who would have thought I would have been this hot in England? It was supposed to be like this in Brazil. Okay. Let's go back to it. We're gonna do objects now. The leaf is white. A folha é branca. Passaro. Passaros. 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 Batata. Potato. Currents. Correntes. Correntes. Dezessete. Dezessete. Dos. Dos. Of the. He reads the newspapers. Ele vê os jornais. Duolingo taught me... Really interrupted. Duolingo taught me a lot about the word read, actually. Um, it's one of the first things I learned in Portuguese, is read. So, yeah, like I said, it is useful for, for things like that. Eles leem uma revista para ele. Um, they read... A... Never heard of the word hevista. They read the, they read the, it has to be a magazine. They read a magazine for her. No? To her, they read a magazine. They read her magazine. They read her magazine. Para Eli, but that's two. They read her a magazine. I guess it makes sense. It's confusing. A magazine, but Pada. I never thought Pada was A. Maybe that doesn't translate very well. You guys should tell me, was that sentence correct or not? Is Duolingo, is Duolingo wrong or am I wrong? The leaf is right, white. I don't see it like this. Just done this one. Fola e blanca. And I got it wrong. How embarrassing. Because I did a plural, the leaf. It is a... Corrente. So, he tries to touch the gold. Early. I don't know the word for try, but I'm going to go with tenta. Or Because I know that toca is touch, and the other words I know is... Um, I don't know the word for gold. Ellie tries to touch. Oh. oh, what's gold? Mala? Oro. Mala. Mala, 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 mala. Shit, shit. I knew I should have went with oro. Minha malha amarela. Minha malha amarela. What? Minha malha amarela. Mina, mala. Mala. Ah, é amarela. amarela. Uh, my smell. What is mala? Suk. Oh my god. I travelled through all the airports and 
Muitos malas, muitos malas, they kept saying to us, and and I forgot the word mala. I see, I knew that I knew the word mala. I blame it on the heat. I blame it on the heat. Do you read the newspaper? 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 The leaves are yellow. Or red. Red. The leaves are yellow, okay. As fall is. São amarelos. Ele precisa de óculos. Ele precisa de óculos. Nós lemos. Jonas. Ele tenta tocar o ouro. Ele tenta tocar o ouro. Perfect, man. I need magazines in English. Eu preciso. E preciso. Uh, shit. Magazines. Corrente. Corrente. Em inglês. Au! A vista. Ele precisa. Precisa. De oculos. Ah, see, clearly it learned that I did not learn the word magazine, so it's just put it right in front of my face for me to learn. I like that. Elas leem uma revista para ela. Elas, uh, they read a magazine for her. They read a... See, this is, this is confusing because para should be for, no? Like, they read a magazine for her. But yet, I have to translate it as they read her magazine. They read her a magazine. They read her a magazine. They read her a magazine. I don't like that sentence. I really don't like that sentence. Read her a magazine. I read you a magazine. I'm gonna read you a magazine. I read you a magazine. They read her a magazine. I read a magazine for her. Maybe they are right. Ah. As folia. Folia. E branca. branca. He tries to touch the gold. E. e. <laughs> Got this one wrong last time. Ele toca. Okay, I know this one. Ele toca. Ele tenta toca o ouro. Yes. I need magazines in English. Eu preciso. Preciso. Have vistas in English. G, oh yeah, preciso, yeah. G, have vistas. Elas leem uma revista para ela. They read her a magazine, yeah. I got it now. I need magazines in English. Eu preciso G, have vistas em English. A relief, a relief. Anyway, guys, that is it for today because I need to get out of this room. It's too hot in here, I need to go take a shower and cool off and maybe watch some football because it is just, I can't handle it, it's too much for me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and you can follow my journey on Instagram, Um My Instagram handle is in the description if you just want to copy and paste it into your browser, you can go straight to my Instagram and follow me. And the subscribe button is just down there if you want to subscribe to me, so please do. And I will see you guys next time. Ciao.